In the last video, we containerized our fast API project with Docker. In this video, we will prepare our project for development, staging, and production environments. As you can see, we have reload in our Uvicorn command, and we also have synced the volumes to listen to the changes in the files. This Docker Compose files is good for the development purpose. Let's create a copy of the Docker Compose file and rename it to docker-compose.production.yml. And rename our existing file to docker-compose.development.yml. Also, let's create one for the staging environment. Similarly, create three different environment files. .env.development, .env.staging, and .env.production. Also, change the value of each variable. In the staging and production YAMLs we don't need reload functionality, so we can remove the mounted volume. And we have to update each YAML with its corresponding environment file. Let's build the Docker container now. This time, we have to specify the path to the YAML file. Oops! We didn't change the environment file's name in the development YAML. Now, let's build the container. And, if we execute the request now, yes. It's returning the response as per the development environment. Let's see if hot reloading is working now. And, yes. It seems to be working absolutely fine. Stop this server and build the staging one now. Yes, this one is also working. As specified, hot reloading is not working now. Stop this server and build the production one now. This one, we can run in detached mode by specifying hyphen D.
Yes, this one is also working. In the next video, we will deploy this production-ready fast API project into Cloud Run. So, stay tuned.